Hello everyone, this is the e-signing flow on ZoopSign. Once you have logged into ZoopSign, you will see a screen like this. Click on the e-sign card, then click on the send for e-sign button. Here you will choose between digital or Aadhaar. Both of them are legally valid method. If you want, you can select this later as well. Let's upload a document. This is a sample agreement. Now I'll add the recipients. I will add the first signer. I have filled the details of the first signer. Now I'll click on add recipient. Now let's say I want, the, I want to sign the document. So I'll click on add me as recipient. I will select the sign type as let's say Aadhaar. And now I want to add an approver. So I'll click on add recipient and I will add an approver's detail. So I have added the approver's detail as well. Now I will click on save and proceed. By default, on all the pages of your document, the signer's cards have been added. You can choose to move it around. You can also delete it or you can add extra here like this. Here you can add additional settings such as signing order. So if you want Aryan to sign the document first, then you can simply move it on top and Aryan will sign it first and then Rizual will sign it. There are some additional settings here such as to authenticate recipient before they view the document or to capture the GPS location. You can also set some additional settings such as password protection where you can add a custom password to this document which can be shared to the signers or approvers or you can also add an a watermark or you can enable or disable downloading. So like this you can add a watermark and you can add set additional settings. You can also change the expiry date of this document. That means by this date the contract agreement link uh, which is sent to the signers will expire post which they cannot sign the document. So you can always adjust the date here. You can do the email customization. Here you can add CC. When the document is signed, then these email IDs will get the signed copy of the document. You can customize the subject line that goes to the signers when they sign it. You can also add a personal message. So as you can see, I have added a personal note here. Now, as you can see, I have added two variables, signer name and document name. So when I send this, these signer name and document name variables will be replaced by the actual value. For example, the signer name will be replaced by the signer's name and document name by document's name. You can also attach a file here. So now I'll click on review and send. As you can see, you can see a preview here, right? So this is how it looks like as a preview. and you can see the recipient's detail and the document security you have enabled. I'll click on send invite. And that's it. This is how the invite has been sent to the signers and approvers. When the approver opens their mail, they will see a email where they will be asked to approve a document. When they click on the link, they will be redirected to a page like this where they can approve or decline the agreement for signing. So if I click on the approve button, my document is approved for signing. Now, if I go to the audit trail page and if I refresh it, you can see that the approver has approved this transaction for signing. And now the signing link has been sent to the signers for signing it. Once the signer opens their email or the WhatsApp message that is sent by ZoopSign, they will see a link to sign the document. Once they click on the link, they will see a web page like this. They just have to accept the terms and conditions and click on proceed. Then they will be able to preview the document which is sent for signing as well as the signing location of their sign. Now when they click on proceed to sign, they will be redirected to the other screen. So this is the screen that they have been redirected to because the method of signing here was Aadhaar eSign. So I will click on this checkbox and because I have already added my Aadhaar number here, I can just click on send OTP and now I will get an OTP which is linked to my Aadhaar number. I have added the OTP, now I will click on verify OTP. As you can see the document has been signed successfully. I can now download my document from here and you can see that my signature has been applied on the document. This is a legally valid signature and it is 
accepted in the court of India as well and it is valid as per the IT Act 2000. If you go to the audit trail page, you can see that the document has been signed by RM and you can see the audit trail which shows the detail of the signer and when they signed it along with the IP address. I'll click on the terms and conditions. Now I can read the document which is there for signing and I will click on proceed to sign. Now an OTP is sent to my email ID. I will just put it here. I have entered the OTP. Now I will click on verify. Now my OTP is verified. I can choose to either type my signature. I can draw it here or I can upload it. I will in this case I will choose my typed signature. So in this case is residual. I will click insert and that's it. My document has been signed with digital e-signature. When I click on the download button, I can see that my signature is placed here. This is how a digital signing is done, which is legal as per the IT Act 2000 of India. In the e-sign dashboard, you will see a list of the contracts that you have gotten signed and their statuses. Whether it's signed, it's pending, it's in draft, all of these documents are here for you. You can also view all of your signed documents in the Z drive, in the e-sign tab. Here, you will see all the signed types and the signed documents listed here. If you want further detailed demonstration of the entire e-signing flow on ZoopSign, then you can contact us on zoopsign.com.